Yes. Yes. They don't believe the same God as you. They, they don't believe in Jesus, you're right. Yeah, they, they, they believe that Jesus is God of the Old Testament and the New Testament. But they don't believe that, too. No, you're right. We believe the same yeah. God, yeah? Yeah, but why you keep saying, do you think the Muslims believe the same God as you? Allah? Yeah. This is a good question. Do you think Muslims believe the same God That's the same qualities like as God of the Old Testament. That's Allah. Ah, hey, man. Look. That's hey, Allah. Yeah. Yeah. That's, he has... Does he have the same qualities? Like he's loving, so if you believe in seven commands he's a judge, you will course, be saved. He's the most person. Person. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying, always you, the Christians, say to the Muslims, you Muslims worship the moon god, but we are the Jews worship the same god. But the Jews here, they will never accept that you worship the same god as them. They don't even accept your god to be a prophet, let alone to be God. That's how crazy it is, you see. So what I'm saying, I'm saying, will you analyze all the gods of the scriptures in the Christianity, in Judaism and Islam? No, because I'm a Muslim, we can analyze that. The perfect God, the one who possesses perfection is the God of Quran. And for example, the Bible, the, 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 the God of the Bible, he says he regrets when he, when, he cho when he chose Saul as a king. He said, I greatly regret for choosing Saul as a king because he turned his back on me. And we know regretting is what? It's imperfection. Because when you regret something, we don't know the outcome of it. So we know Allah in the Quran tell us, likewise in the Bible, that he knows everything. So that clearly, that, the script, that, that statement is not from the God of the heavens and the earth. It's not. He's very knowledgeable. You know, it's not about that, you see? But when you come to the Bible, like, what's your name, by the way? Dushan. Dushan, nice to meet you, Dushan. My name is Shamsi. Why would you say Dushan? We're not here to debate. We haven't to have discussion. You know, we're not here to show I know better than you. I'm more, no, no, no. We are here, inshallah, we pray to the God of Abraham to give us the truth. That's what we're here for. You know? Like, I was born a Muslim, but Islam doesn't tell me just blind follow. No, Islam teaches me to study, to seek knowledge, to speak with knowledge. So, what I would tell you, my name is Shamsi, by the way. Yeah? Do, you know, do you accept that God knows everything all the time? All knowing. We say all knowing. We know, I know, I know, but we say all knowing. Yes? Okay. So you and I, we accept God's all knowing. Likewise, you and I, we accept God's all truthful. Yes. Doesn't not lie. Likewise, you and I, you accept God has no beginning, no end. Of course. Okay. Alpha Omega. No doubt about that. So what I'm saying, when you, when you analyze Jesus, may Allah's blessings and peace be on him, does he fit the attributes of the perfect God? Yes. He fits. Okay. So from that, God knows everything. So if I ask you, does Jesus know everything? The answer will be without any doubt, yes. Because it's God. When he was on this planet as a, as a, as a son of man, as a son okay. of man, he didn't. So he does know everything? He, he incarnated. Let me ask you, does the Father know everything? Yeah, he knows. Does Je is Jesus God is well? Yes. Does Jesus know everything? But not bodily, when he was you in, see, in the body. You see what happened now? When he comes to the Father, you said yes. When you come to Jesus, but, you start changing. But the you know father, why? But the Father didn't become a human being. Okay, if you, become. if you become a human being, does it contradict? You? Let me ask you something. You this, can't be present everywhere when you, you, you've got the body. You know. Allah said in the Quran, you know Allah said in the Quran, to his prophet Muhammad, they ask you about the hour, said no one knows the meaning of the verse. They ask you about the hour, say the knowledge of it with Allah, with my Lord. Jesus was asked about the hour. Yeah? Are you aware of that? When he said no one knows the day and the hour, not even the angels in the heaven, nor the sun, but only who? The Father. The Father yeah. You believe, according to your belief, Jesus had two natures. Yes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. God nature and, and human nature. Yeah, you're right. My question right. I will ask you, Jesus as God, is he the Father or other than the Father? Jesus as God, not as human. What is he? Jesus as God. Is he, this, is he the Father? He's in unity with God, but at the same time he's a separate being. He's a separate being. Yes. So according to my beloved prophet Jesus, who knows the hour? Jesus as God or only the Father knows the hour? According to Jesus' statement. Not according to, to uh, 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 priests in the church. According to Jesus' statement. Je Jesus said, who saw me saw the Father. Are you telling me Je God, the Father looked like a Palestinian Jew? But he was talking about physical appearance, he was talking about his qualities, personal qualities, like loving, forgiving, uh, but, so hospitable. What about calling a woman a dog? 
I, I don't yes. know. Anyway, like, you know, my point again. According to my beloved Jesus, I don't believe that anyway. According to the woman, okay, though. But, but, but sorry, sorry to cut you. Sorry to cut you. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry. But, but according well, again, again to the point. Believing okay. in God is not about His body. It's about what who, who God is inside. Yeah, because we don't, we, don't, we don't see God. We see essence, not the body. Because the body has two meanings. When you see, we say we haven't saw God's essence. Yeah. But my point here is, I'm asking you, have respect. According to our beloved Prophet Jesus. Yes. Yeah. When he said, no one knows, in Mark 13, 32, no one knows the day and the hour, not even the angels in the heaven, yes. nor the son, but only yeah. the, Father. the Father. So according to Jesus, does Jesus as God knows the hour? According to Jesus? Yeah. But he said only the Father. But well, he says the only Father, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But when he was on, on this planet, on, 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 on this earth, He said only. that he was the no, Father. No, no, no. Well, he would have said me and the Father. Yeah, if five people talk, it's not very pointless. I mean, it's, it's a pointless. What I'm saying, according to Jesus, who knows the hour? But you differentiate between, do you differentiate between Jesus as a, the Son of Man and Jesus yeah, as, as God. the Son of God? No, no, I, even you claim Jesus to be God. I'm saying, according to Jesus as God, even Jesus as God, he doesn't know the hour. I'll give you something else. Even the Holy Spirit doesn't know the hour because the Holy Spirit and Jesus are not the Father. The Father is separate from Jesus and the Holy Spirit. They are different beings. Okay, so what, tell me, why then Jesus said, who saw me, saw the Father? What that's a good question. What? Body, that's a good question. You see what? I, I, that's a good question. Very beautiful question. Yeah. First of all, let me clarify something to you. As a Muslim, I believe in the Old Testament, in yes. the New Testament. No, completely, what it contains. However, there is some stuff there in the Bible, in the Old Testament, New Testament, no way it's from God. Because no one, no humans, will say, if you see me, you see the Father, or you see God. No one said that, because why? If you go to the Old Testament, he says, no one can see God, and he will say life. So if I see you, and let me give you an example. That's why Jesus became a son of, a son of man. Like, that's why he, he incarnated, because you can't see God and not die. <laughs> no, no, I, no, no, it's not laughing, Lana. Well, yeah. Uncle, it's not. It's not a lie. We're not here sincere. Inshallah, we, uh, here we try to benefit the people. I don't like oh, camera, but people they like to put stuff here. Okay, you know, you just stand to put some more camera. Can, can, look what, you look what guys in the put. Can you see Allah without dying? Can, can I see Allah? Can you see Allah and you don't die? Can you can see? I, we cannot see Allah here. No, we can't. Uh, you, because we have a story. Him, we have a story. If, if you saw him, would you be alive? Or we will see him in day of judgment, inshallah. As a Muslim, if you I, I become a Muslim, you will see Allah in paradise, and that's the biggest blessing. But you, you will see be Allah. Trans, your body will be transformed. Yeah, Allah will give you the power. I don't know yeah. about body transform, but Allah will give you the power. In, in, in your body, will, yeah. can you see Allah? No, we cannot see Allah. If you saw him, what happened? What will happen to you? Yeah, uh, like we have story of Musa. He, uh, he, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he fainted when he saw. But my point here again, what I'm saying to you, Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam, he will never say that statement. If you see me, see the Father. Because it doesn't make any sense. Because me, as a human being, if you tell me, if you see me see the father, I think your father, he has a green eyes or blue eyes, blonde hair, he's a white person. But so I'm saying, yeah, but you, I can't, I can't see you from inside. The cool inside. But I can't see you from inside. But Jesus, he manifested his love, understanding, sacrifice, you know. Okay, let us understand. So, also Jesus manifested also that he called a woman a dog. <laughs> No, after okay. I will ask you. Okay, ask no, you. you can come in. No, but inshallah, I'm going to meet you. No, I will come back. It was nice talking to you. Yeah. As I told yeah. you, it's not about who has more knowledge. Who, who yeah, yeah. No, it's about seeking Dialogue. the truth. He was about seeking truth. As a Muslim, I just, I'll give you something. As a Muslim, I believe all the prophets and messengers. I believe in Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Noah. Yeah. They reject Jesus. I believe in Jesus, a mighty messenger, a Messiah. You see, I believe in Moses. I believe in Abraham. So we believe all prophets and messengers. I'm saying, study about the Prophet Muhammad. If Prophet Muhammad was a liar, he would never defend Jesus in Mecca and in Medina when there was not a need of him to do that. Because why? If anyone who's a liar, if he lives in the environment, there's a lot of his enemies, he will say something that fits and something that will please enemies. Rather, the Prophet Muhammad, when he was in Medina, he was defending Jesus and telling the Jews you're lying against him in Medina. That shows the prophet of Allah. Okay, I, I have to go. Uh, no, sorry, thank you for your time. Look after yourself. Yeah. Have a nice day. You. Take care. Where, where? Hi. There. Hey, what's the debate? What's the problem with no, not debate. What's the problem with the I'm, I'm here to call you to Islam. That's what I'm doing here. You said the verse. You said the verse. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was speaking about the when, verse you, when you look to the God. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, God. Regretted when you look to God. When you, uh, that can't be from the text. You have dialogue. Huh? You have discussion. No, it's not a problem. It's not yeah, a yeah. What I'm saying, 
When you look to uh, the teaching about God in the Old Testament and the New Testament and the Quran, 